Hi, I'm Kate Hahn with TV Insider, here with the cast of Outlander to talk about season six. If America doesn't become America, who knows what that world will look like? Hmm. World War One, World War Two, how might they play out? <sighs> it's really starting to hit me. The clock is ticking. You know, what can we do? So in season six, um, your characters have decided, you know, we are committed to this 18th century life. Does anything make them regret it as the season goes on? And Sophie, we can start with you. I think in standard Outlander fashion, anytime somebody makes a good solid decision or things seem light and comfortable, it's always going to be turned on its head. Um, but I do think that this is actually the first season where we don't really have Roger and Brianna at the center of the crumbling um they are very much the the rocks in this season they're the kind of the ones that everyone else is going to with their problems and they're helping out the family and they are the calm in the chaos this season and it's the first time that we've seen them now that they've made the decision to make this place home I think they're they've lost this inner angst within themselves and they've really just decided to ground themselves and be rooted and this is it now so they're just um getting ready for for just really laying down the roots and um it's made them a much stronger team uh so yeah, I think for as far as those two are concerned, it seems a little settled for a while. But as I say, it is Outlander, so you never know. I'm sure the uh, I'm sure the twist will come, and they'll have some argument at some point down the line. But for now, uh, it's uh, it's a very lovely place they're in. It's just a lot of gentle, beautiful, really settled team moments between the two, which is nice. Well, Richard, Roger finds a a new path in life. Uh, what can you mm. tell us about that? He st starts to find his place in this world. Roger likes exploring paths, doesn't he? He likes a path. He's had many, trying his hand at this and that, you know. Um, yeah, so we see Roger um, trying his hand at uh, being a minister this year, don't we? He kind of falls into that, though, um, almost by necessity. He has the, the background. He has the, um, he has the theory. He has the knowledge. You know, he was grown up. He was raised by a minister. Um, and there's this, this sort of void on the ridge that needs to be filled, and we were supposed to have a minister coming, I believe. Um, but I, he does it more from a spiritual point of view, I think, than a religious one, even although he did come from you know, a religious sort of background, and you know, he is a Presbyterian. He is a Presbyterian himself. Um, but I think he just sees the need for it and he can fulfill that role and it does give him purpose. Religion plays a big role this season. I think it's one of the main themes throughout season six. Well, Sophie, can you hint about where that where the season goes and how much danger d does your particular couple end up in? I mean, I will say starting off, Brianna and Roger are in the least amount of danger in terms of how it feels <laughs> than they've been in for a while. Um, but it is Outlander, so obviously it's not all going to be peachy the whole way through. Um, but I think, yeah, I will say, Brianna and Roger get, get a bit of a smooth sail for, for a fair bit of it. Yeah, they are kind of the lightheartedness in this season, which is a, a good 180 from what it's usually been. Your characters, Fergus and Marceline, have quite a season coming up. Um, Lauren, could you talk about where we find Marceline uh, when we open on season six? Yeah, um, we find her in a very different place to where she's been, a much, much darker, much more um, sort of difficult, lonesome road. Uh, Marcy is always known as this like formidable woman, this young, sparky bite from the, it's like a breed of sort of um, <laughs> the spawn of Leary. Um, so I always think it's it's been really fun to play that, but this time it's a lot darker. She's a lot more... Um, She's not coping, I suppose, is, is the answer. She's not coping, and we've never seen her do that before. I think it's a lot of fallout from last season. Um, I think everything that happened at the very end of season five was really traumatic. Um, and I think everyone in the whole ridge is dealing with how that's affected them. And I think she, for the first time ever, isn't coping. Well, remind us of, of what she did last season that was fairly shocking to all of us, I think, and maybe even to herself. Um, yeah. And... Tell us about if she regrets that at all. 
Oh no, Kelly Lino, there are no regrets. She doesn't regret yeah. any of that. So <laughs> that's where the writing is so smart is that you, us, would all assume like, oh, this would be a trauma for Mousley to deal with. And it's actually a trauma for Fergus because as a man of his time, he wished that he uh, could have been able to do this for Marsley. And actually, <laughs> it's funny because right now, you'd just be like so immensely proud of your wife for what she's done and how she saved her life. And you'd be like, my, she's, my wife is just a boss hero girl. But back in the day, it's just almost like, it, well, he's drunk all the time. So he's not quite logical, but he still like somehow resent that she did that, that she became a killer somehow. And that not because he wanted a Lionel to be alive. He just wanted to do it himself, you know? Right. And you mentioned that he's drinking a lot and he's trying to kill the pain that way. Right. Yeah, I think so. At first, he at first he says he tries the whiskey that is producing, but I think there's a bit too much trying there. So definitely, definitely is killing the pain of of that is trying to numb it away and it was fun to play watch outlander season six premiere on sunday march 6th on stars and to experience the whole outlander journey again pick up your copy of tv guide magazine's special collector's edition outlander forever which covers seasons one through six available internationally at outlanderforever.com and on newsstands through april 11th